Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to some Japanese viewers. Apparently I have become minorly famous in Japan. Let me get to that in a second and before you dislike the video, hear me out. Today we're going to cover XRP, Wall Street Bets, a recap on Dogecoin because that is also going nuts and people think I'm a hater. Before you get too crazy on that, I'm not a primitive, mindless, delusional whatever. We're here to make money on the channel. We look at the facts, we look at the charts, and then we put it together to try and make some coin when it comes to charting. If you want to get all primitive and take sides like you got to go to war with someone else, unfortunately, this isn't the channel for you. You need to go to somewhere that just gives you hopium. This is your hopium-free cryptocurrency channel. Next thing is scammers. Scammers are going wild on my Instagram or on, on Instagram trying to impersonate me. So if you're getting contacted on Instagram, it is not me. I will never contact you first on Instagram. So don't lose any of your money to those scammers. I thought of a way if you want to screw with the scammers, maybe try and hit them on the video messages on Instagram. If that doesn't work, forget about it. You've got better things to do with your time. If you enjoy the content, you know what to do. Subscribe, share the video with someone, like it up. Let's move on to the first piece and that is the Japanese coming across to my channel. Something has happened that was a little bit strange. One of my videos, I think it was this video here, Elon Musk, BTC dump, etc., Dogecoin, got uploaded onto a Japanese gaming channel. Someone, maybe one of his crazy fans, has hijacked his channel and then uploaded my content on the channel. So now I have Japanese people coming onto the channel writing this sort of stuff. Now I've had to translate these messages here and the first message says, did you take over or is someone else hijacking you and playing your video? So someone has hijacked this YouTube channel called Cold and then uploaded my videos to it. Why? Maybe because Dogecoin was going crazy yesterday and then that got caught up in the algorithm and they've uploaded that. That's all I can make of this. Don't take over cold to dirt. That's what this other comment said. So before we get too crazy, dislike the video like a, a nutter, this not me. So for some strange reason, my channel has been caught up with cold. I've never heard of cold. I don't speak Japanese. I don't game. So I've got no idea about gaming as well. I, I'm an outdoors person. So sorry that his channel, and that is a real sad thing. His channel, I think, has been taken down because it's been reported from my videos and I've got nothing to do with this. So I'm really sorry about that. I really hope cold gets his channel back and this can all just be water under the bridge in some days to come. So hopefully, I think the, the channel's name is Cold. Hopefully it gets the channel back. That's what I have to say about that and sorry to bring that up. If you wanna skip that, I'll leave some timestamps down below. You guys can skip that who don't have any interest in it. But I thought it was just really important to mention because it's gone crazy on the channel. Next up is Wall Street Bets and uh, XRP. So let's take a quick look at that. And then we'll get on to Dogecoin as well. If you're not familiar with Wall Street bets yet, maybe you're living under a rock. It's a Reddit group that talks about stocks, cryptos, whatever it is to make some cash from it. From my brief research, looking at one video here, uh, retard day traders, that's not calling them retards. There apparently is some very good information in there, but obviously you have to scroll through a lot of the nonsense and the degenerates, which is what they call themselves on Wall Street bets. Uh, Wall Street bets there. You're, degen you're a degenerate if you're in the group. That's their terminology, not mine. Here we go. Seven million degenerates. So there is obviously a lot of degeneration going on in that group. Basically, there is some good stuff and you can make some money from it. And it looks like they have moved their sites from Dogecoin to XRP, which leads me to the next point. If you are late to getting onto some of these pumps, then you are going to be the de degenerate and you're going to get caught holding the bags, hoping that that's going to go back up because it's in Wall Street Bets and you would think that everyone makes money in Wall Street Bets. That's simply untrue. I'm not having a go at Wall Street Bets, obviously. Well, hopefully it's obvious, but there has to be losers at the end of the day. If you're putting your money in and someone else has put their money in first, they are going to take their money out to profit because that's what you're going there to do. Now, if you're the last one to do that and you buy the top, then there is no way you're going to be making any money. So that is the risk that you take. That's what's happened to Dogecoin. Let's have a quick look at Doge before I get into XRP. I know I did say I was going to XRP, but let's have a look, quick look at Doge because this is a good update video for all of this. Doge, a lot of people buying up here and then they are saying that we need to keep pushing the price up, obviously, so they can get back to break even and make some money. 
Now I'm looking at the Dogecoin Bitcoin chart because at the end of the day, I'm here to make more Bitcoin. Uh, the dollars are great, but I'm gonna make more money if I hold more Bitcoin because Bitcoin is also gonna go up. So if you wanna get your degeneracy into a real cryptocurrency, put it into Bitcoin, put it into Ethereum, not financial advice. Go to Wall Street Bets for your own financial advice. Okay, so Dogecoin looks like it is not coming back to this 260. It could, but w the first thing I wanna do is see it break and hold above 140 to 150 level. That's on the Bitcoin chart. So make sure you have a look at that on the Bitcoin chart. So that's the level that could confirm or at least start the, the bull trend up again. From this point, I definitely see Dogecoin just having some time to rest. It's done its dash, it's over. We talked about this on yesterday's video as well. And I looked at XRP, you can check that video out. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video saying that XRP could be going on a pump because it was setting up. So people were already buying before they to talked about it in the Wall Street Bets group. So with that said, we've looked at Doge. Doge is over unless it breaks above the 150 area and holds. Otherwise, I'm waiting for another retest of the lows and resetting my trading plan. If you wanna see that trading plan, I put it in yesterday's video. Now on to XRP and what's gonna happen with XRP. Let's have a look at XRP. We are at the USD, 45 cents. Maybe this pump isn't over yet, maybe it is, but I think it probably still has a little bit further to go. Hear me out, we gotta look at the returns on this because if you think you're gonna get rich off putting 100 bucks in, and yes, I have seen you guys, you talk about putting $100 in on certain coins, you're not getting this thing from 100 to 100 grand. Obviously, my opinion, I wish you the best, but let's not be too delusional about these things. There is ways to make money which are a little safer and the odds are on your side. So looking at XRP, we are at a market cap of about 16 billion, uh, 19 billion now. What do you wanna get out of this? If we look at GameStop as, a, as an example, and I had it up here, here we go, GameStop, it is at a $22 billion market cap at $325. Why am I looking at this? Well. It's because I want to understand how much money is in Wall Street bets. How much money can Wall Street bets push into a market? Before uh, GameStop took off, it was what a week or it was about a week ago, and the price was sitting at around forty bucks thereabouts. It obviously took off earlier than that as well. It was at nineteen dollars, seventeen dollars. If we look at six months ago, it was sitting at around twelve, ten, etc., down to four. So someone had to have been buying all this period to get the massive gains later on. These late gains are, and I say only in a conservative way, like in a not a derogatory way, the gains from 40 bucks or, or $70 to 500 at the peak if you sold aren't that great for the risk. It's fantastic still. It's still 10x. It's awesome. Okay. If you got the 50 bucks, the 40 bucks, but most people didn't hear about it then. Most people heard about it probably on the 26th. You let me know when you heard about it but it looks like they heard about it from the 25th to the 26th of January. That price was already at 80 to $150. And so if you are getting in around 150 and you, you happen to sell the peak, you're making about three times your money. Then there was a massive crash back to around 190. So if you got in at 150 and now the price is at 190, you haven't made that much for the very high level of risk that's in this stock. Now, that's looking at the prices now. This could go up a hell of a lot further. And I'm doing so much deep dive into GameStop because I wanna use that over to XRP now because XRP is the next one that apparently Wall Street Bets are trying to pump. So market cap is at 22 billion. Can this do another 10X for the guys who are buying in at $300 and go from 22 billion to 220 billion, which would put it as one of, one of, as, as one of the biggest uh, stocks in uh, on the US stock market, right? 220 billion, even if it got a little bit further, it got up to 300 billion, that's a pretty decent stock. And if you look at Tesla, Tesla is currently at around eight or 900 billion last time I looked. Okay, we are at a 750 billion market cap. So that's putting it at a third the price of Tesla. Is GameStop really a third value of Tesla? You let me know in the comments. I'll leave that one up to you guys. So now that we've got an idea of how far Wall Street Bets can push a market, say it was at around 5X, so that was at around a 5 billion, 4 billion. These are just very, very rough numbers. It could be 1 billion before any of this really took off or even less. And pushed it to 20, we got a 20X on there. So a one to a 20 billion. There's about a $20 billion push in the market cap 
what's XRP at? XRP's market cap we just saw is around 19 billion already. Can it pump XRP 10x and push another $200 billion into that market cap? I would bet that it can't. Is there $200 billion in Wall Street? Uh, Wall Street bets. Let me know in the comments. Do you think there is $200 billion of money in Wall Street bets? And of course, it doesn't have to mean that all $200, uh, $200 billion goes into XRP because you just need a supply shortage in order to push that price way past uh, any imaginable level. So these are just extremely rough numbers to figure out. Is this a worthwhile bet? Dogecoin, on the other hand, was a reasonable bet at the time because it was only sitting in the hundreds of millions and it got pushed to about 10 or 12 billion when it finished, but it was up there and it was pushing really hard. So that had the potential to be pushed up a lot. You started a few hundred million, get to 10 billion or so, there's your 9 billion or so in there. We're looking at trying to do 200 billion to get a 10x from XRP. And if you don't want a 10x from XRP, maybe you want less and is it's a more reasonable trade, which is what I want to look at next. So for Dogecoin, before the massive pumps, we we're at around a billion dollar market cap. You can see that down here, one, 1.2. The peak was at around nine, 10 billion. Okay, so we got a nine billion in there. Now we need to look at XRP and say, if we could get nine billion into XRP, what would that actually put, push the price up to? And now we can see Wall Street Bets is back at our $483. I haven't seen that before. You saw it here. Okay, so XRP, 20 billion. Are we going again, 44 cents? I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get that 10X, but I think you probably still will get a decent trade out of it. And looking at the chart, we need to clear this level and hold above it, which is the level that people got washed out on uh, when the SEC news came out. So that's at around 46 cents. That 46 to 50 cent level is gonna be psychological. Obviously the 50 cent level is very psychological. So let's make sure if we're in that trade, not financial advice and full disclosure, I am not taking any XRP trade. I don't see the risk return in it that I want. Uh, we need to see it go above 50 cents and hold above it. Now from 50 cents to get the 5X, it needs to get to $5, which would mean a 20 billion times 10, a $200 billion market cap, which would put it above Ethereum and a third of the value of Bitcoin. If you think that is possible, then I'll leave you to your degenerate thoughts. With all due respect, that's a Wall Street term. I don't think you can do it. I don't think it's worth my time. If you can get a one, two X from it, whatever it is you're looking for, you know, if, uh, get it to a dollar, dollar fifty, no worries. Let's take the money and run. But I think this is going to be a short lived pump and dump as well. That's what happens here. And like I was saying earlier on, going back to the Dogecoin example, if you are late, then you are going to get crushed like the guys who bought late into Dogecoin. So that is the sad reality of these push-ups, these big pumps that everyone comes together in and sure it's a movement against the centralized system, etc. But someone is going to lose at the end. That's just the nature of this. This is a zero sum game. Someone wins, someone loses. And if you're in that Wall Street bets, you don't want to be the one losing. You want to be the one winning. And unfortunately, not everyone can win. It's just simple mass. I don't want to be the, the bearer of bad news, but some people got to hear it before they get burnt. Uh, if you want to get burnt and learn your lesson, by all means, do that. I'm not in this. It's much easier for me to say than uh, someone else who's actually in it and needs to get that money. If that's the case, I would suggest learning about technical analysis, market sentiment, seeing how these things play out, staying in a market long term so that you can uh, build the pieces to a solid foundation of a trading and investment plan. And if you want more of that, yes, I do have a course down below. You don't have to get it. Up to you. Join the channel, learn a bit more, see how you feel, move on to better things in life from there. And uh, that wraps us up basically for looking at Dogecoin, what's gonna happen from here. We know a level that we want it to get to in order for this to flip and then hopefully pump again. My view is that we're gonna come down again. These are the levels, let's, let's trade range it, make our gains off uh, a nice easy trading plan. That's my look at Dogecoin. This could take some weeks, of course, to start to fizzle out because people have a lot of hope. And they're gonna be hoping, hoping, hoping this goes up and it doesn't. Let's see what happens, okay? We're probably gonna see a bounce somewhere around these old highs at around 30 to 40 sats. And until it starts to fade out, we'll go from there. There will be another pump in this altcoin season 
uh, in this cryptocurrency bull market. I definitely see that for Dogecoin. So I'm waiting for that next pump. Safer bet when it's quiet, when no one is buying, not when everyone is talking about it. We're looking at XRP, BTC, not much has happened. It needs to break through this old uh, support level and then hold above it and start to move its way up in order to get that doubling on the uh, USD chart as well. Sorry, I keep going to XMR. XRP, USD, that's what we want there. You want to see it break a dollar, go from 50 cents to a dollar. So XRP, not looking like the best gamble, in my opinion, for a, a trade. There are much better things out there. But if you really want to go with it and you want to get your feet dirty in the Wall Street bets, I don't know, saga that's going on here, that's up to you. Not financial advice. Uh, I just want to say thank you again for joining me on the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe for more cryptocurrency content, stay up to date with this stuff because it is going absolutely wild. And uh, sorry to the Japanese guys at the, uh, just a quick sorry at the end for that channel cold. I hope they get their channel back. That's pretty sad that someone had to hack the channel and throw other content up there. So uh, let's all hope that they get their channel back because they haven't done nothing wrong. They're just a gaming channel in Japan. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you at the next one. And until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.